Now let's take a look at multiple cursors. Multiple cursors allow you to select more than one line and edit them at the same time. So for example, let's take a look at a sample file here. In this case, I have three functions, say hello, say hello two, and say hello three, that simply console log out a variable. So let's say I needed to refactor this and instead of saying, calling the method say hello, I wanted to call the method say hello world. By using multiple cursors, I can simply select the appropriate line numbers and edit them all at the same time. There are a couple handy commands that allow you to do this. One is I can just simply select, put my cursor at the place I wanted to, uh, hit control, hold down the command key, and simply click on the various different areas. And then it would allow me to type in the area. So in this case, I could just hit hello world. So another way to do this would be to highlight the word itself and then use the command command D to select every occurrence of the word. So in this case, it starts top down and allows me to select them one by one. Now I can simply start typing and hit say hello world and it will replace all of those occurrences at the same time. A shortcut to this would be to select the text and use the command control command G which would automatically select all occurrences of this word in the editor. This is super handy for quickly refactoring within a particular file. When you're done with the selection, you can simply hit escape, which will return the cursor down to the original selector.